What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be reacting to the sixth episode of Uzaki Chan Wants to Hang Out. This one's titled Summer the Beach. I want to test my courage. Beach episode time. Yay. <laughs> I mean it's a summer show. Of course we're having a beach episode. Also, it's anime. Of course we're having a beach episode. Um So yeah. Uh last time we explored some dreams at the beginning of the episode and the nightmares that uh that our boy uh, Shinichi was having. Um, and honestly, I feel really bad for the teacher. Like, it was just like a... It was really just a one-shot sort of thing for her, but I still felt bad for her. It's like, they just come out of the class and were like, like, I believe in that stuff. Like I, like, I believe in that childish stuff. And then the teacher's just like, oh, maybe it was a bit juvenile. She kind of like seems down on it. I was like, aw. I, I, I felt bad for her. I really did. Um... But yeah, uh, he gets his revenge when she trips down the stairs and starts talking about the yips and all that. My dog just came and bumped me on the feet. That was very cute of him. Um, hopefully he won't bark. Uh, but yeah, he gets his revenge. Uh, and then we uh, finally meet um, Sakaki, our other friend. Because she, uh, Shinichi does actually have friends, much to uh, Mizaki's surprise. He's not an imaginary friend. It's a real friend that he has. Um, and they seem to get on relatively well. However, he's starting to get an eye on the relationship with Uzaki and how that could maybe become a bit of a thing. So he's like, I'm going to start, see if I can start pulling some moves, being a wingman and stuff like that, which uh, grabs the attention of uh, Ami. And they had, I'm hoping, part of me is hoping that when we start this episode, before we get to the beach scenes, those two are just still arguing in the canteen. Because they were arguing for a long time in that canteen. I just want them to cut back to them, and they're still arguing. Like, it's night time, everyone else has left campus, but they're still arguing in the canteen. I would love it if that was in that. It's not going to be, because that's too much, but I would have absolutely loved it. And then to wrap up the episode, I don't know what spurred this on. I don't know if the author maybe has some strong feelings about chocolate mint. <laughs> um, but we started something... A very passionate defense of chocolate mint, which I understand. I mean, chocolate mint's great. Like, it really is. Like, I don't eat a lot of it. Um, like, chocolate mint ice cream, I don't have. I don't eat a lot of ice creams or anything of that sort. That's not... I'm not a dessert guy, typically. However, when it comes to, like, uh, like chocolate biscuits with mint in them or something like... Uh, after Eights, which is a brand here, like, is that, is it a British brand, After Eights? I don't even know. Are they a British brand? Uh, yes, 19, wow, 1962, okay. And they're under, uh, Nestle right now. Like, After Eight Mints, oh, they're so good. I could eat a whole box of them very, very quickly, which is bad, because that's really not healthy for you. But After Eight, um, Viscounts. Oh, Viscount Biscuits. Man, mint chocolate. They are so, so good. They're so cheap, too. You don't get many in a packet, but they're so, so cheap. Are they also British? I think they're British, right? Yeah, Burton's Foods. Um, oh, there was double chocolates in the late 90s. God damn it. But yeah, like, chocolate mints like that, I, I'm all for. Like, I don't get the whole mint toothpaste comparison. Like, there's a different thing. Also, mint toothpaste is great. Mint toothpaste is the best toothpaste. So, mint's just great. <laughs> it really is. Anyway, we went on a whole trade about that. Um, I can't help but feel like that type of thing. I could see that being a recurring segment. I don't know if they're going to do it as a recurring segment, but I'm sure there are plenty other topics like that that you could easily do recurring segments of that. If you ever need filler for an episode, you could just take that format that they just did and just change the issue. Like, instead of talking about chocolate mint, you could pick... Uh, what's a good example? Ooh, how about a really contentious one? Pineapple on pizza. That's a big one for people. Like, you could have a roaring debate on that one. I'm interested to see where you guys stand there. I'm, I'm of the opinion it's okay. I wouldn't make it as my first choice. If I had a first choice of pizza, it's pepperoni. Pepperoni just... Pepperoni just works for every situation. Pineapple on pizza, I will enjoy it, but I wouldn't specifically go out looking for it as my first choice. 
I would have it if someone else I was with was having one. I'd be like, yeah, I'll have a slice of that. That's fine. I'll share one. But pepperoni first choice. Uh, the Domino's Ranch barbecue one. So good. That one's so good. You get the chicken, the ground beef, bacon, oh, the pepperoni, the barbecue sauce. Anyway, enough about food because I will get very, very hungry very, very quickly if I'm not careful. Let us get into the episode, shall we? So as always, these are time-based reactions. Bottom left of the screen, you're going to see the timer for the video. I'll count you down 3, 2, 1, play. Then on play, you start the episode, I start the episode, and we'll all be in sync. Uh, watching this on Funimation, official source here in the UK and the United States, so link in the description. Uh, wait a week if you don't have the subscription service, it'll become free to watch. And uh, yeah, with all that said, let's get into episode number six, shall we? We're getting a beach episode, so swimsuits. Here we go in three, two, one, play. Katakawa and Funimation. Starting. Oh, we're going straight to the beach. All right. I'm okay with this. Oh, damn. <laughs> Dude's in good shape as well. Mm-hmm. Hey, my boy's here as well. Mm-hmm. Are you here as well? No, he isn't. But he's narrating this. Okay. He's telling the story. I love it. <laughs> the show is now self-aware. <laughs> Sugoi de Kai indeed for this episode, like Jesus. Although I think that's a different swimsuit to the one they're currently selling. Because there is a figure of her out. Uh, I'm going to look it up whilst this OP is playing. But I believe there is, on Good Smile, there is a Hana. Uh, there is a Hana one, I'm fairly certain. I believe there is one in swimsuit. Yes, it's the blue and white stripe swimsuit with the hoodie uh, on her back, the zip-up hoodie. So, we've already got a second swimsuit that she wears, technically. It's tradition. Gotta do it. Alright. Episode 6. Summer, the beach, I want to test my courage. Yes. And this is how we got into this situation, I guess. Oh gosh, she's starting, isn't she? Oh no. No. Oh, he looks so disappointed. <laughs> Yeah. It's FBA, so. Yeah, they're wholeheartedly behind this because they want to see them together more. Wow. Fair. Yep. Yeah, I bet you did. <laughs> mm hmm That's very true, learning by teaching. If you can explain it to others, it proves that you've truly understood it to begin with. It's the one decent piece of advice I got out of school.
Uh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> they were evil. I love them. Uh huh. <laughs> I wouldn't call that wasting it. Wow. <laughs> He's so happy. Athletic shut in. I'm stealing that from my profile. I'm stealing that from my profile. <laughs> And that's how the idea came about. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Now he's just like, hmm, trouble. Oh boy. And we're here at the beach. Yep. <laughs> the lions are in the background. What's going on? <laughs> Flashbacks. Flashbacks. Absolute weapons. Yep. I mean... <laughs> to word it. <laughs> Called it. I mean, to be fair, you're not exactly lacking. Let's be real here. <laughs> Oof. Okay. Fair. Oh, no. He's going to make them share a room, isn't he? Now, where has he gone? How did he get there? Okay. All right. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> Dude, swimming. Leave him alone. I bet he will be for one of these eventually. Yeah, this is fun for him. <laughs> yes, yes. That's the real problem. Fair. I mean... That is fair. <laughs> mm-hmm.
Okay. Uh, let's go for the handprint on the back. <laughs> mm hmm. Is he actually going to be able to say it? Wow. Mm-hmm. She's the type to physically play it off. <laughs> wow. <laughs> As you should be. It did work, though. Oh, of course. Got to bash the wall, Melon. Okay. Mm-hmm. A classic. <laughs> That's true. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's a bit too extreme. Uh, don't think you want to know. No oh boy. <laughs> yep. All right. I wonder which fighting games specifically those are references to. Because they're absolutely references to something, I'm sure. Because none of those... <laughs> Not an option. <laughs> okay. Yep. You found the melon. This damn cat is ever Jesus, he went under. How would you even do that? No. Ah, <laughs> uh, my man. Very much so. Yep. That's subtle. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, that's a classic, of course. Because of what you did. Did they not tell him? Did you not figure it out? Ah, played it off. He's thinking about it so much. Yep. Yes. You are right, Amy. Ooh, this is nice. Okay. He's not going to conveniently hook them up in the same room. Interesting. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's actually a fair distinction. A rich person's light switch. Ah, uh, they're so surprised. 
They're impressed by the smallest things. I love it. Yeah. Nice. I I feel you, Hannah. Yeah, what's his game here? I mean, he must have a plan, right? Okay. <laughs> Test of courage. Yeah. I mean, there's also another one, but... Mm-hmm. All right. Mm-hmm. Test of courage. <laughs> His face. I think I, I I resonate with him a lot. Yep. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> oh. Oh boy. Oh, that face. Oh god, you've just given her so much ammo. <laughs> oh boy. You're doomed. You're doomed. <laughs> I mean... Her potential is much scarier than anything that could possibly be in this forest. Oh boy. <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. Right, create the conditions for them to do things instead of forcing them into things. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, how can you? How can you? It's for his friends. I think that's definitely happened. I think by the end of this, he will sincerely thank you for it. Where'd he go? Other reasons, huh? Hmm, I wonder. What happened? Oh boy. Yeah. Wow. 
Wow, he's so broken. Wow. Is he back to normal now? Or is he still out of it? He still have it, wow, okay. <laughs> mm hmm. It's one way to put it. <laughs> Naturally. Oh, God. <laughs> my man. <laughs> like, I know he's unconscious, but my man, his subconscious knows exactly what he wants. Wow. No, he isn't. No, he wouldn't. He wouldn't have the balls to do something like that. Mm-hmm. It's all about finding where the limit is. This damn cat, I swear to God. Man, what's going to happen in the morning? Is he... She's still going to be there? Let me see. No. Okay. Mm-hmm. I bet you did. <laughs> <laughs> These two. Yes, you did. Oh, they were together. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Scrunting at each other. Okay. Is that wow that was a quick episode. Holy cow that went quick. How was that twenty odd minutes? I don't even know how. That's actually insane. Okay. No after credits. We're gonna get the title for next week's episode though. That's per usual. Athletic shut in. Yeah, that's my new That's my new Twitter handle. Well, not Twitter handle, but Twitter bio. Athletic shut-in. Uh, I'm actually going to make that my Discord thing. I'm going to do that right now. Where do you even do that? Oh, you do it down here, don't you? Custom status. See how long it takes for someone to notice that. In the Discord. That brings us halfway through the show as well. I can't believe we're halfway through the season already. All right. Uh, I want to hang out at a cat cafe and a pub. Okay. Cat cafe and a pub. Interesting. Interesting. I mean, cat cafes are good. Now, are they talking cat cafes? Or are they talking cat cafes? There is an important distinction. Because both exist. <laughs> okay. Um... So, 
I'm going to assume it's... I'm going to assume it's the normal cat cafe type, rather than uh, the type that we expect from it. Uh, just because I think that's more likely. I think in Japan, more likely people would go to a cat cafe like that. And they both love cats. Like, Hannah says she has her two cats, which I think are the two in the, that ED. And then uh, Shinichi, he loves cats, even though they hate him. <laughs> so, um, I mean, that seems like a perfect thing for them to do. Like, go to a cat cafe together. That sounds like the perfect date for these two, actually. That really does sound like a perfect date, other than just uh, chill and play video games. But that's not much of a date, per se. I wouldn't really... Would you call that a date? Like, if you went with your boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever... And he said, okay, we'll we'll have a... I guess that's a date night, technically. Date night in. I guess that works. But, like, if you were just... If you were first dating someone, like, if you were only on, like, two or three dates, I don't think you'd do the old, uh... Well, you definitely wouldn't for a first date. No one would ever do that for a first date. Second date, pushing it. Third date, maybe, because third date could lead to something more. If it's going that well. Potentially. So... Yeah, this still seems like a perfect date for them, though. This was a good episode. Very, very good episode. Um, I should have seen it coming with the melon and him grabbing the melon. Um, but yeah, he didn't even know, which is weird. Normally when that uh, situation happens, they, they take the blindfold off and like, <gasps> and then they get embarrassed about it. But this time he didn't even know about it. He's, he questioned it because he went and grabbed the melon as well, but he didn't actually know what happened. And yeah, he needs to invest in a body pillow, because I think he'd get some good use out of that. Um, body pillows... Body pillows should do really well in Britain, really. Especially during the winter, because it gets cold in the winter, and having something to cuddle up against like that, that should really work. Uh, I'm surprised, honestly, that body pillows might not be more popular here in the UK than they should be, but eh, whatever. Anyway, that was a solid episode. Very, very enjoyable. Um, we have another swimsuit for Uzaki to eventually get merchandise for, uh, whenever that comes about. Uh, who knows when that's going to be, actually. I don't think we have... Now, Good Smile has been very quiet on releases since the beginning of August, like the 7th. It's been like a week since we've had an update on Good Smile. Uh, which I'm thankful for, because there's two pop-up prey figures on there that I, I want to buy in addition to the two I already have. So it's saving me some money with them not releasing anything recently, but at the same time... Um, yeah. I, yeah, I still want to see more stuff. I, I want a Nuzaki. I would want a Nuzaki figure, that's for sure. Uh, I want a lot of figures from all the shows that I've watched this season already. Like, this season... Looking at it now, like, we're halfway through this season now, for most shows. Uh, most, if not all, actually. Uh, it's just, um... Yeah, it's just Millionaire Detective that's kind of lagging back now, realistically. Millionaire Detective and Monster Girl Doctor. They're the only two that are lagging behind like that. And Mr. Love's Queen Choice. Those are the only ones that are lagging behind. Um, but, uh... Yeah, halfway through this season... I'm going to go out on a limb and say I'm enjoying this season more than I did last season. Like, last season had some really good shows, but only had a few shows in it. This one, I love every single show here, and there's plenty of them. So, yeah, I think this is a better season than Spring 2020 thus far, but it's also got the benefit of having two of the Spring shows in it, so kind of offsets it a little bit, I suppose, but... This has been such a good season already, like, oh my god. Like this, Rent a Girlfriend, uh, Misfit Demon King Academy, God of High School's been interesting, Breakwater's Chill as Hell, ReZero super in interesting, Decadence has been cool, Mr. Love's Queen Choice is a massive surprise, Melee Dead Detective, fantastic. Like, this has just been such a, such a good season. It really has been. Oh, I'm gonna be sad to see this go. And Lapis uh, Relights is also another surprise this season. We're watching that one tomorrow. So yeah, uh, thank you everyone for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave a like if you did. It's a fantastic episode once again. Um, I still feel like they blew a lot of their comedy in the early parts of the episodes, like episode one and episode two. I feel like they pushed a lot of it through. And recently they've been staggering it a little better, so it's not quite as hugely packed with funny moments. Like it's a bit more subdued. 
in uh, in comparison at least. Uh, maybe it's just because I'm more used to the comedy style that they were going for. I don't know. Um, but I feel like they've been more laid back with it and actually introducing character development moments more than the comedy, which I appreciate anyway. Um, leave a comment what you thought of the episode as well. Uh, I always love hearing back from you guys. If you want to have more in-depth discussion about this or any show I watch on the channel, I also have a Discord server in the description. Uh, that's where I'll be doing it. I just updated my uh, status on that to be Athletic Shut-In, so if you are a member of the Discord and you notice that, you know why. Um, although you should know why if you've watched this episode already. Um, but yeah, don't forget to subscribe to see next week's episode as well as the rest of the Summer 2020 line you can find on my channel. Uh, there are three episodes from earlier this week that I will be catching up on tomorrow and Monday, just so I'm all fully caught up. Um, I've been having issues sleeping in this weather, and it's just played havoc on my body, basically. So now that the weather's much nicer again, cooled down, uh, everything's back to normal, basically. So thank you everyone for watching, and until next time, see you guys later.